Hi there. In a recent smart board where six business owners and I come together and we discuss themes and help each other over challenges, in the last month, we had a discussion about building capacity in small businesses by using lean and two second lean principles specifically. And we were debating various ideas about fix what bugs us and building a culture of continuous improvement via morning meetings. And one of the smart board members, uh, a business owner with four staff said, Granger, how do I measure the productivity of my team? How do I, how do I get them involved with doing that? Do I need to time them and understand what's going on? And another business owner said, wow, that's a great question because I've got a team and we're out on jobs and how do I know they're achieving what they need to achieve? So what I put together very quickly was, was this answer. Um, and I think it's very fundamental about principles of lean and productivity. So here it is. This is my productivity and measurement, which came to me when I was watching one of Paul Aker's recent videos of a team member who had actually measured their own performance. And they were excited and they showed their measurement and how long it took them to fill, fill a box worth of work, et cetera. Uh, and they were showing people. And I thought that was really inspiring. So this is what I came up with. So productivity and measurement. If the manager holds the stopwatch, then we have all lost. But if the person doing the work holds the stopwatch, then we have all won. What I mean by that is if we are measuring people, then actually we are treating them like machines. We are treating them um, as second class people within our business. But if we encourage them to do their own timing, if they are enamored and want to run their own work workshop by measuring their performance and recording it and talking about it, then we've all won. So it's about building that culture where absolutely we do need to measure things. Absolutely, productivity is really important. But the culture where the people doing the work do that because they want to, they want to achieve better, they want to improve, that's where we really want to get to. So there you go. If the manager holds a stopwatch, we've lost. If the person doing the work holds a the stopwatch, then we've won. Cheers.